Justin, talk to me about being out here and, and why you are here. So I am here with SMI to basically uh, showcase the fan experience and kind of the behind the scenes of racing to to the fan that normally wouldn't get the behind the scenes. So me being a NASCAR fan my entire life, it's it's a really cool experience getting to do this. And being out here at this historic track has got to be special because you, you've been to multiple tracks, but this has got to be something a little bit different for you in, in the fact of what it is. Oh yeah, the uh, I was watching some videos of the track transformation, and if you would have told me a year ago that this tra this was going to happen this weekend, I would have told you it was out of your mind. Um, they've really done a lot to this, and the history around the around the area with moonshining and the track ownership and the way the track ownership changed hands, just a really cool story. So I'm really glad to see it back up here in North Wilkesboro. And how is this experience comparing to some of those big tracks? Because you know, everybody out here is proud of their small town, North Wilkesboro Speedway. Well, I got to tell you, like, uh, it's it's small, but it's it's more of the NASCAR experience than you would get at other tracks. Like the other tracks just have kind of somewhat of a corporate feel to them. With this, it seemed it has the feel of like small town NASCAR beginnings, and you know the moonshine, and it's just really cool to be out here. And I imagine you've probably heard from people talking around. You know, we want NASCAR to be back here, and, and I assume. That'd be cool for you to see too, especially interacting with some fans out here. Mm -hmm. NASCAR coming back to North Wilkesboro, certainly it'd be cool to come back again because that's just this one race. Right, every NASCAR official or any uh, NASCAR corporate uh, person that I've talked to, I've told them this cannot be the only race here. Like y'all need to make this a solid date going forward. This is, it's really cool. And what can just totally completely sets this experience apart from the others that you've been a part of? The small town feel. It's out in the middle of nowhere um, with, with some of the other tracks, you know. Um, like Bristol's kind of out off the beaten path a little bit, but you know, it's, it's built up and it's, you know, you could tell it's been there for a while. With, with this, it's, uh, I don't know, man. It, there's something special about this area with the rolling hills and uh, just the track and just the whole feel to it. And the asphalt, you know, the, the asphalt, this is the oldest uh, paved surface that NASCAR's raced on with modern, uh, during the modern era. This track was paved in 1984, which was a, a year after I was born. And I'm not, a, I'm not a spring chicken, you know, so. I think they were, I saw some stuff about tires just getting eat up. But that's, that's gotta be part of the experience for the guys in the infield, you know. They're, they're enjoying it as much as I think fans and everybody else are and the drivers. Oh, absolutely. It's keeping, it's keeping the pit, pit guys, you know, busy, but from a fan experience, like I don't want to see them racing with, you know, pristine conditions every time. Like throw them out somewhere where it's going to challenge the drivers and, and make the racing better. Uh, listen, did you know that the last time NASCAR Cup Series ran at North Wilkesboro, Jeff Gordon was in his fourth season and he wound up finishing first and right behind him was Dale Earnhardt? Now you do.